But if there was a prize for procrastination, I would have won it 10 years ago. Does anybody else have these when they were kids? So I how think it was the last time I made a video. I think it was just a week ago. But um, last Sunday, I went and I saw my friend Terence in Osterode Am Hats. But the problem was, was that um, my friends and I went to Osterode Im Hats. Germany. It was super cool being around another American and still speak German because there's a lot of the time that you don't quite understand culture, I guess, even if you do understand what they're saying. So when when we had those those moments where there was kind of a block between us and my my friends, um, it was, you know, we kind of stood on common ground and we could kind of discuss through it and figure it out. This is him and my sister being awesome. I bought my flag when I was in Hamburg, and I also bought a German flag, and I kind of sometimes, when I go to other towns, I carry them around with me. Then on Monday, we went to Göttingen for our class trip, and that was super cool. I was in a room with people that I didn't know very well, but I ended up making a lot of friends. It was our get to know each other trip. And, um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. We, um, we did this geocaching thing and we went on a night hike through this forest and there were like candles along the path, which was really cool. And at home, I live in a forest. So it, you know, with the flashlights and everything, it, it kind of seems silly, but it was still really cool to have so I haven't spoken spoken I think it's spoken well to fit my point I haven't spoken in English for like legitimately four days or something and um I'm gonna admit to my weakness here, Skype is pretty convenient. So after the class trip, I'm like, there's like a wall to English. So sorry if this is... Tomorrow I have four hours of English class. I'm kind of dreading that because after so much thinking in German and speaking German, four hours of English will kind of throw me off, I think. Tomorrow, my darling friend Anna also has the birthday, has his birthday, his Geburtstag, and I bought him this mask and five others for people in my class, but it's also really convenient, I mean, really inconvenient because it's for kids. I also bought him this dream car, and I want to give a quick thank you to the people that actually watch these. Because I really have no idea, but every once in a while somebody sends me a message or I see a comment or something and I'm like, that's really cool. So you are super duper appreciated. Stop stopping. Okay, question for you. Assuming who you are speaks a little bit of German. Do you have like a word that you say all the time in like as many sentences as possible? I guess it works for English too. If you have one in English, feel free to tell me. But mine in the past week has been total. And when I called my sister, I was trying to like explain something in English, which I don't know why, because she speaks German also. Um, and I kept saying total. And it's to this point right now where I'm just like, it's like also an English word. Well, kind of, but I'm like mushing the two together. Um, learning German is actually harder, I think, with all the English words integrated because you have a, I have a hard time separating the two. And then when I hear the English words, my brain pulls back toward the English side, I guess. And it's really interesting to, to see how much English is really integrated into German. Does anybody else find themselves consciously trying not 
to open up to their class so much. And I, I did that in my first couple of weeks a lot because I figured I'd give them the benefit of the doubt. And I think I even said that in one of my videos, like, but that's not how it works. Have you ever met an introvert exchange student? Yeah, I think, I think we had one, I think we had one in 2009. That's not the reaction you want people to have, right? You don't want to be the exchange student people forget. You're not here to sit in your room the whole time. And um, I've been talking with a lot of the exchange students and right now it seems like the I'm finally starting to understand but everything's really stressing me out because understanding a company's responsibility of re responding and answering in school and at home and becoming more involved so a lot of the exchange students I've been talking to are really stressed out at this point and one of the questions that one of the exchange students asked in our ASSE uh, maybe it was just CBYX um, Facebook group was does anybody feel like it takes three times the effort just to live and I totally understand that but at the same time I feel like it's just because at home you have a routine and you've been doing the same thing for years and then here it's really impossible to just slide into something in most cases so you're really stressed because you're you're new to almost everything but I feel like at the same time because because you're so stressed about everything, you really strengthen your exchange long term. That is assuming that you don't hide in your cave at this point. So I'm going to leave this remotely rough and unedited to most extents and go ahead and post it because I have a few things that I need to be doing. And it's 9.15 and on... Not on. Usually, I don't get to bed before 1 or 2. Tonight, I'm going to shoot for a little bit earlier. So, um, family, friends, love you. Uh, Ami Kinder subscribers or people that are just watching, totally appreciate it. And can't wait till next time. Oh, and I'll probably end up posting a smaller video some at some point soon. Because I don't feel like I said everything that I wanted to say. Because so much happened this week. But anyway, like I said, appreciate it. And till next time.